It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the NFC West. It's the Seattle Seahawks and the Arizona Cardinals, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun and State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. Today, we've got a solid matchup in store in the NFC, as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Arizona Cardinals. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. to return it from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. I still remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia, he was coming off of back-to-back 4,000-yard -back seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Out of the gun, Smith. That's complete to his running back, Dallas. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll lead here to a third down. deep for Arizona. Fielded just inside the 30. And a seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Cards will take over first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by the fifth-year dual threat and former number one pick in 2019, Kyler Murray. And when you have a guy like Kyler Murray under center, it not only opens up your playbook, it allows you to drop even more plays because he's among the best dual threat quarterbacks in the league and a true playmaker. If flushed out of the pocket, he might even be more dangerous. The next step for him, being able to throw on rhythm and deliver from the pocket. First down, Murray. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 10 yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Murray now to throw. 
forced out to his left. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Now we're going to get a stoppage here as we've got an injured Cardinal on the field. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. That's complete to Michael Wilson. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. Here now, third and a yard. Here's Murray. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. Blake Gillikin on to punt now on fourth down. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Seattle's offense coming back onto the field, ready for their second drive. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, Let's see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got to look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. A big hitter there, a first down gain of 26 yards. There was a great article in the paper yesterday about how he likes to run angry. <laughs> Plays like that, you can feel it, can't you? As long as he doesn't drive angry, we're okay. Because when he's on the field, that anger works for him. It fuels him, it powers him, and the end result runs like that. On first down, it's Smith. Throw's going to be incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver, and it results in an incomplete pass. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Straight ahead, Walker. And he's going to be stopped up just short of the first down at the Cardinals' 42. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Throwing now is Gino. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to convert on third and short yardage with a gain of four. Well, this might very well have been four down territory, but that's not going to matter now. They get a nice throw there on third down, and they're able to keep the drive going. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. And the catch is made here by Tyler Lockett. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Walker now on first and 10. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. So from the 26-yard line, here's the second and eight. Sticking with Walker on second down. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. The 
This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Smith. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Up the middle, here's Walker. He'll get this down inside the ten for a pickup of about three. It's second and seven from the nine. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Kenneth Walker, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Seahawks are on the board first here this afternoon. Offensive line coaches always tell their guys, if we score touchdowns, that means we get to the end zone first. That's exactly what those blockers did, clearing the way for their back. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it was Ken Walker finishing things off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And a touchback as Dorch elects not to return it. So the Cardinals offense back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. The defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. First carry for James Conner, powering forward. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Again, it's Conner, dancing away at the 35. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A gain of 10, first down Arizona. It may sound cliche, but those are the types of yards he can get you. He's such a bruising back. He is, and typically with that type of a back, if he has any type of stamina, it shows up later in the ball game. Because trust me, guys get tired of running up and trying to tackle that big fella. It wears on him, and then he gets stronger as the game goes on. Murray's throw completed to Brown. A good pick up there, 21 yards. So how do you beat man coverage? First of all, you want to be a superior receiver, but you know something, that guy who's covering you, he's usually pretty good too. So the corner route is usually a great spot to get it done. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Here's Connor on the read option. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Oh, they were so 
close, that close to their first points of the game. Just needed to hang on just a second longer, but he couldn't complete the process of the catch through the jostling from the defender. Here's second and 10. Murray again, this is Connor. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. From the gun, Murray. Marquise Brown, and the Cardinals are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Brandon, what we just saw there were two guys who were in sync. The person delivering the ball, but especially the person running the route. Tremendous job. It results in a terrific play. Now Matt Prater for the point after. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied Touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here come the Seahawks now, set to take over on offense. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Now Gino on first down. A quick target here, complete to Metcalf. Now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Here's second and three. Now Smith. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The goal of anyone running a curl route is to make sure you try to get defenders on your back and shield them away from the football. But sometimes even when you run a good route, the defense finds a way to knock it away. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Smith. The throw right side here going to be incomplete. Yeah, it's still early in the football game, and you hate to give away possessions, but instead of forcing something downfield on third down, that was a wise move to just get it to the sideline. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the 15-yard the line. Not too bad. The Cardinals offense now works their way back onto the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created 
sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. Murray's throw complete there to Moore. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. They run behind center with Connor. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It'll be an Arizona first down on a gain of 17. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. a stiff arm for a little bit of leverage before he's taken down a pretty good game 61 yards rushing for him now to this point now second and three Murray going to throw a uh, short one here caught by McBride Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Here's a second and five. Here's Murray from midfield. Throwing quickly to Wilson. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 37. These two teams all tied after one. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. Shakes off the sack. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. Murray now on first down. But he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. That was a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. They'll run here with Connor, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Every year I go to the combine, I marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs, and let's face it, they know how to finish plays, too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. On second and goal, here's the option. say that for him that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point but his legs that finished the deal give him credit for making it happen crater on and the extra point and 
he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. A 10-play drive that time. And the play that polished it off was the touchdown run by Kyler Murray. Touchdown out is Prater to kick. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Kenneth Walker headed back out there. And I'm wondering if maybe they don't go away from him on this drive a little bit. He's He's been great, but they haven't scored a lot of points. I think they still have to show him as a threat. Make sure he touches it a few times, but as you pointed out, Use him as a decoy a little bit and get the ball in the hands of some other people in order to put more points on the board. But he's done a really nice job of establishing them with his running. Yeah, he's established himself well. Now can they put more points up? Smith's throw caught here by Metcalf. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. 14 yards that time for number 14. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Up the middle they run. It's Walker. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They blitzed there, but to be honest, I don't know if it would have mattered had they blitzed or not. That run play was going nowhere. Yeah, it's really, really difficult at times to figure out where that defense is coming from. But if you're committed to running the football, you can get people up on those linebackers, right? Those guards don't have to block anyone at the line of scrimmage. They can get up to the second level and create some space. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. From the gun, here's Smith. Dancing to his left. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own, but as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you, and if you take off too quick to try and get him down, he might loft it over your head. So better to track with your man defensively than try to go up and make a stop on the quarterback. Exactly right. What you're hoping is that your guys in the front seven can get him down. And here's Dixon to punt now as he gets this one away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Here's James Conner now as he trots back onto the field. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 18. He'll start the drive with a give to Connor. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. Jamal Adams coming up from his safety spot to make the play. From the 23, here's second down and five. Again, a run with Connor. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. Seven yards there and a first down. To throw, it's Murray. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Leonard Williams. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. 
And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. Murray now. Finds his running back, James Conner. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Screen pass to Connor, and they're able to stop him short. On third and six, they'll only pick up four. Yeah, and on third down, you know those pass rushers, they're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline pre-snap. Watch the screen, watch the screen. Really good job there of identifying it and making the play to force fourth down. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This will be fielded at the 17. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. And Seattle now ready to march out of the field. Now Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll get this out wide to Metcalf. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 32-yard line. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and six. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now Gino. This is Fan on the short completion. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a much needed accomplishment there on third down. They've been forced to punt far too many times already. They needed something to go their way, and they're able to get a new set of downs. Play action. It's Smith. Man open downfield. It's Metcalf. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. Well, it looked his way quite a bit in this first half, and with good reason. You can see it there. He is such a handful defensively, just too hard to keep him under wraps. He delivers a big play here for this offense. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Left side complete to Lockett. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Smith throwing again. Returning right back to Lockett. And Lockett going to pick up a Seahawks first down as he's down at the 17-yard line. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. From the red zone now, Smith. 
That's complete to Disley, the tight end. It'll go as a gain of four, and it's second down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. On second down, it's Walker. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 57 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out on the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. Third and inches, and they've got some extra beef up front. Three tight ends. Smith now to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And the Seahawks are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. Give them a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter, 14 to 7. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Gino now to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. We've already seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half. Unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. You're going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. Here's Smith now on second down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them up the scoreboard here. Now a third and goal situation as this Arizona defense tries to stand tall once more. And they'll let the fullback try and take them home. The Cardinals going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. comes the Seahawk kicker here on fourth down. It's Jason Myers. This a chip shot, a 20-yarder. Myers' kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. So the margin shrinks there as they get the field goal to draw them a bit closer here in this second quarter. Yeah, nice snap, nice hole. They just want to keep this game close, so give them credit for finishing that one off with three. Myers now converted on the field goal try. Now he's on to kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Arizona's offense back out and ready to go. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with a slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Throwing on first down is Murray. He'll get that one complete to Connor. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They go with the empty set there. Five receivers in the formation. Normally, you want to have a running back in the block, but in this case, he's lined up to the right, and he ends up getting the football. A lot of confusion caused defensively, and it turns into a big play. On first and 10, here's Murray to Connor on the check down. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. 
Now a second and ten. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. Incomplete. Easy to tell who they're targeting on this drive. He caught the first two passes, but then this time unable to hook up. But I don't think that that stops them from continuing to go back to him, do you? No. I mean, they've got, a, they've got a plan. They're trying to execute it. And after that second catch, I saw him in the huddle. He said, hey, let's go back <laughs> one more time. Didn't work there. From the gun on third down, Murray. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That would have broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. They asked him to take charge and get them to a spot where they can at least attempt to kick before the half, and he does just that. Didn't trust what he saw downfield, so he took it upon himself to get them into field goal range using his legs. That's coming through with a play they needed in a big spot. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Throwing now is Murray. And this is caught. It's Brown. Now the Cards going to call another timeout, their second, as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone, here's the Heisman Trophy winner, Murray. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. Now with five seconds left, not really enough time to run another play and then stop it. So on comes the field goal unit. And the 39-year-old veteran puts it right through. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So good work there to get points just before the half as they add on to their lead. As trite as it sounds, every little bit helps. That's exactly what they're going for. Anytime you get a chance to put points on the board, you take it. And they didn't leave the other side with much time at all on the clock. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. It was a solid first half for the always dangerous Kyler Murray. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely gonna play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Touchdown is the difference, 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. So here's the Cardinals offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. And they got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? 
I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, in behalf or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. 84 yards rushing for him now to this point. After another impressive run, the question has to be asked, how do you slow these guys down running the football? I think they're going to try and get more people to the point of attack, try and get more people to the line of scrimmage, almost use a variety of run blitzes in order to try and get it done. Wilson's got it on the crossing route. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Brandon, so many times we see the crossing route start as a quick hitter, but in this play, he had time in the pocket and waited for him to clear going across. Murray now on first down. That pass complete to Moore. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it second down. From the gun, a give to Connor. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. Third and five. Here's Murray. He's got Brown on the outline complete. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a first down, his fourth catch of the game after having three in the first half. Now Murray off play action. He'll buy some time right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Draymond Jones. What a play by him. That's going to go as a loss of 13. Even the most elusive quarterbacks have those tough days where they can't avoid sacks, and this is one of them. Third time he's gone down. He might develop some happy feet now, want to escape the pocket and try and gain more yardage with his legs. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Here's Murray from midfield. Throw left side, hauled in by McBride. Some extra space following the display of power. Down just inside the 45. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he'll come on to kick this one away. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. Now Gino on first down. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. 
Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and ten. Now Gino. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Out of the gun, Smith. I oh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. When those extra defenders on the field, dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. Now here's Michael Dixon as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Now a fair catch called for and made right on the 45-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Murray and the Cardinals with a first and 10 at their own 46. On play action, they'll throw. This will be caught downfield by Moore. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. He got 29 yards that time. They hit that crossing route really well. Excellent time. He puts it right on him, and he keeps running. Yeah, turn it upfield for good yardage. First and 10 is counter. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Now that battle, that was won right up front. And we're used to seeing those battles right up front, but we're used to seeing a lot of defensive tackles or more run stuffers and just play the spot where they are. How about these dancing bears we see nowadays that win the battle and then go upfield looking for runners? And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one, a little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. Now Murray. Touchdown, Cardinals! Trey McBride, a five-yard touchdown. And the Cards have taken a two-touchdown lead now. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run and he finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Now Prater to add the PAT. And the lead is up to 14. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it was capped off by a touchdown reception from Trey McBride. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Seattle now ready to march out of the field. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, 
the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. 65 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. The ball on the 32, it's second and two. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Catch is made by Metcalf. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge, and they're going to get one. Previous play is under review. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Out of the gun, Walker with it. There's the stiff arm. Oh, he breaks a tackle, and he's got an alley. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Outside handoff to the right side. If you're a running back, you love getting the ball early, so you have vision to see what's happening in front of you. Right tackle likes that call. Big play for him, but don't forget about the guys you always tell me on the backside sealing off. When they talk about cutoff blocks, making sure no one can leak from the backside that can run a play down. Yeah, nobody leaked. Big play. And the tackle there by Chris Barnes. This is second and eight. Off of play action. Here's Smith. He hits his target, Lockett. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. It'll be a gain of 16 for number 16. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. They'll run on first down with Dallas, and a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Hand off here to Walker. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you go two. here without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied as he tried to get the second one. Got to figure this is one they need here on third and goal. Throwing now is Gino. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. DJ Dallas, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks have cut it back within a score. Well, he wasn't the guy they were initially going for, but after going through the progressions, it worked. When you have plenty of people who can catch the football, you don't always have to go to your primary target, and sometimes that target is actually covered. Nice job coming off of that and getting it to someone who was open. And the man out of the backfield gets in for the score. Myers connects on the PAT, and that cuts the lead to 24-17.
And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here's the Arizona offense now as they get set to take over. And their lead cut in half by that touchdown a moment ago. They are up seven as they begin this drive first and 10. The drive will start with Connor. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. First play of the drive, excellent run. Just sets up wash, rinse, repeat. Another first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They stay on the ground. Here's Connor again. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. A uh, short one here, caught by McBride. That'll go for a gain of seven. And third and one now. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Heavy set out there on third and one. They'll try and run for it with Connor. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop it right where it all started. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Here comes the Cardinals punter now, as he's on here to punt it away. And the fair catch is taken at about the 13-yard line here. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And it'll be Seahawk football as they take over deep in their own territory. Smith and the Seahawks going to come up first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. Hands it to Walker to begin the series. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Now second and nine. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him picking up the first down. Walker now on first and 10. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. A credit Chris Barnes rushing in there and hitting him for a loss. So both teams trade touchdowns, and the third is worth through three quarters of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. 
Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. It's the Seahawks with possession of the football, but they do trail here to begin quarter number four. And Smith, and this throw finds Smith and Jigba. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. Seahawks on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and ten. From the gun, here's Smith. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. A shotgun snap for Smith. He'll find Metcalf. So the completion good for just three. And that will bring up second down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. Out to the right, he gets it to lock it. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 22-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They went with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Here's Smith. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking to stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. On third down, here's Walker. And he's going to be taken down short of the first, right around the 15-yard line. A good pick up there, seven yards, but it brings up fourth down. They'll run for it. It's Walker. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. He's been tough for this defense to handle over 100 yards. You kind of knew that they were going to him on that play, didn't you? They certainly did. That's one of those situations where you simply say, my best runner over my best blockers. Let's go ahead and pick it up. And I don't care if they know it on the other side. Here we come, and they got it done. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. At this point in the second half, one mistake on a forced throw could doom your chances of a comeback. So that's the right call there to just throw that one away. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Throwing is Smith. Throw out wide to Walker. And inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three. The catch good for six yards, but now it's third and goal. Here's Smith. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line. Harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky 
lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. Desperation time for Smith on fourth down. This is caught. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. They get the completion but cannot push forward into the end zone. And this Cardinal defense comes up with a goal line stand. So a drive that covers almost the entire length of the field will result in zero points. That frustration is not just going to be felt by the guys on offense either. It's going to be felt throughout the entire team, isn't it? I mean, we've been there before, right? We've seen it. That deflation can go through the entire ranks. They're going to have to really work to make sure it doesn't affect them going forward. They start with a give to counter, and he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there and swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them, but on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. A tight game like this. Such a tough spot for the offense to be in, even though they have the lead, Charles, back up so close to their goal line. They got to protect the football. And that's when you have to take care of your team with play calling as well. Not a lot of misdirection, not a lot of counters, not a lot of plays where you have extra ball handling. Get it right to the hands of your running back. Tell them to take care of the ball and try to move forward. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Throwing on first down is Murray. Being chased out, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Daryl Taylor picks up his second sack of the afternoon. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. And he'll wind up getting this to the 32, a play that started at the 16, and that's how many yards they get. First down. It's getting cold in here, partner, because it looks like he's trying to ice this one away. Yeah, I know, bad dad joke, but what the heck, right? Scrambling for that first after the D blanket his receivers, that's a backbreaker for the defense. They finish this drive off with six, and this one could be over. Murray now on first down. And on the left side here, Wilson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. And we've got movement by one of the big boys up front for Arizona. Flag comes in. Expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Murray again, this is Connor. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That good for 19 and a first down. Counter, it's Connor. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. But if you're going to have a relay race, you're probably going to pick your backs and receivers to run it, but don't underestimate the conditioning of the offensive line. They're out there just dictating things, staying on the field, and keeping a long drive going. This second and four.
throwing now is Murray. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. There he goes, and for good reason. Running with it has paid dividends earlier in this game and earlier on this drive. And until they prove they can stop him, I don't think he's going to be shy about continuing to run for first downs instead of airing it out. This is Connor running right. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here is to hand bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do, late game situations, kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up in that meeting, then you practice it, they've got to be happy to see it executed, being able to stay in bounds and work the clock. And the Cardinals are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. This is something you got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they won't pass it. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Moore, the man in motion. Connor is not going to get back to the line of scrimmage as they'll tackle him at the three. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. This is where coaches have to have spent a lot of time going over situations with their players because him getting tackled there is not the worst thing in the world. You're going to run more plays, right? Clock's going to go. But his thought process is getting into the end zone. It's counterintuitive for him to actually go down in this spot. Yeah, but you, like you said, you don't want to get in the end zone too early here. No, not at all, because you may leave an opening that could come back and get you. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cardinals, they've got the football here as we get you reset. They've got it third and goal now as they look for that final touchdown to salt this one away. And he'll take this one in for the Arizona touchdown. Kyler Murray taking it in from four yards out. And the Cardinals go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. What an effort there. Sometimes you hold your breath a bit when you see your quarterback diving for the end zone. You don't want him to land on a shoulder wrong or take a big shot. But he looks none the worse for wear here. And that winds up a touchdown. Prater for the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. Touchdown, out is Prater to kick. And good coverage there on special teams as he'll get him down shy of the 20. So Gino and the Seahawks down by two touchdowns. A minute 50 to play. Field goals useless at this point. They need two touchdowns and they need them in short order. Smith gets this complete to Smith and Jigba and able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds short play like that in this situation this late that's a win for the defense no doubt I remember something coach Madden used to talk about all the time sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you you have to take what you need and in this case the offense is taking what the defense is giving them not what they need Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. Big play. 
play looming here. This is third and seven with a crowd on their feet. Smith to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Give them credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Well, the defense circling now, fourth down and seven. And this is caught that they say out of bounds. It would have been a first down, but he couldn't stay in. And as a result, they're going to have to give up the football. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field... Stands. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. They'll stay on the ground with Connor again. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. the defense wants to stop it as they take the knee. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And you look back over the score sheet, interesting. A very clean game, no turnovers by either side. An absolute rarity when we watch games now because defenses have put such an emphasis on taking the ball away. But what we saw here was offenses spending their time saying, look, you know they're coming for it. Ball security is paramount. So they worked on that, not just the week of practice, but I'm sure all during training camp. Make sure when you have it, Tuck it away because danger lurks everywhere you turn. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com.
It's a win for the Cardinals as we say so long from Glendale.